Hello everyone, I am Dr. Lalit, your eye specialist from Amrit Hospital. Today I am going to give you some information regarding cataract. Cataract is a disease uh, which will affect everybody as they age. So what I am trying to tell you is it is actually not a disease, it is just an aging process which happens to everyone. So what happens in cataract? First thing is just like the graying or whitening of our hair, there God has given us a natural lens which is there inside the eye and as we age, this natural lens becomes a little whitish or yellowish in color and that reduces the, 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 the visibility of a patient. So what happens to cataract is, in, in a normal patient, light from an object is focused through the lens and on the retina and by doing this, we perceive images and we are able to see what is front of our eyes. But when a patient has cataract, the light transmission in, inside his eye is affected because the natural lens becomes opacified or yellowish or whitish in color as I told you earlier and this reduces the light which is entering the eye, eye and hence when the light does not enter the eye fully, we are not able to see things clearly, everything becomes a little cloudy or misty and this is one of the typical signs of cataract. So whenever a patient uh, has a little decreased vision and especially if his age is more than 50, I would recommend that they should go and consult their eye specialist to make sure that there is, they do not have cataract. And if the patient has cataract also, there is absolutely nothing to worry about it. Because cataract as I told you can be treated as a daycare procedure. So there are a lot of advanced technologies available to treat cataract in, in the modern days. So in cataract uh, what we do is we use a, la a laser technology to emulsify or to beat up the cataract just like we beat up the egg and remove and liquefy it. So once the cataract is liquefied, it can be easily sucked out of the eye. So the technology is improved so much that a very small incision is done on the cornea to, to, uh, to enter the phaco emulsification or the laser probe into the eye to beat up the cataract and to emulsify it or liquefy it and remove it from the eye. So this is how technology has come a far way to make the patient's as well as the doctor's life simple. So when a patient has cataract, he will be experiencing blurred vision. So that is the first sign of cataract. The second thing which he will be experiencing is he might see colored halos or he can see polyopia. Polyopia is basically when he sees uh, three or four images of the same objects. So these are the typical signs of cataract which the patient will experience. And cataract surgery in today's world has become a daycare procedure. So we don't have to worry about hospitalization or anything. We can just uh, go to the hospital, the doctor will perform the laser uh, surgery. Uh, maybe it should generally take 15 to 20 minutes for uh, them to perform the surgery and you can just stay in the hospital for 3 to 4 hours and after that you can uh, leave the hospital. You can get back to all your routine work in just 2 days. That is the advantage of technology. So usually after removal of the cataract, an intraocular lens is implanted into the eye. There are different types of intraocular lenses which are available uh, for the patient to choose. So there is something called a monofocal lens. By the word monofocal, I mean that the patient will be able to see for distance and he will have to wear glasses for near. And there is something called a multifocal or a trifocal lens. So the advantage of a multifocal or trifocal lens over a monofocal lens is that the patient will be able to see for distance, intermediate as well as for near. So basically it focuses at all distances and hence you do not have to wear glasses at all or maybe your dependence on glasses will become very very less. And the third type of lens which is available is called the trifocal lens. And the third type of lens which is available is called the toric lens. Now few patients after we do a scan of the eye to measure the lens power uh, which has to be placed inside the eye, we realize that the patient has astigmatism or a cylindrical power which also needs correction. And if it is not corrected then the patient will have to glass wear glasses all the time. So uh, if we consider that cylindrical power into uh, into our lens calculation, then there is a special lens called a toric lens which will also collect, correct the cylindrical power in the eye and hence the patient need not wear glasses all the time or if he goes for a toric trifocal or a multifocal lens then he need not wear glasses at all. So this is very very important and that is something which as a doctor I decide after the lens measurement is taken. So once the cataract is removed, the, in, uh, the artificial lens is placed inside the eye and after placing the lens inside the eye, the patient's visibility becomes better and his contrast becomes better and he is able to see the world in a much better way. So this is the advantage of modern day cataract surgery. 
Now, the uh, cataract surgery has gone to the next level. So, after laser surgery, there is a, a there is a new technology which is available at our hospital, which is called robotic cataract surgery. Now, what do you mean by robotic cataract surgery? You must have heard about so many robots doing surgery uh, for your stomach, for your, for your appendix. So many laparoscopic procedures are done through robotic uh, technology. Similarly, we have a robotic cataract surgery which does not, which makes uh, the doctor's life more easier, more precise and helps the doctor to give better outcomes to our patient. So, what do I mean by robotic cataract surgery? So, uh, here at our hospital, we use a, uh, we use a technology called uh, Lensex laser or a femtosecond laser which, uh, which makes sure that the patient in conventional surgery, what we do is we use a blade to make an entry into the eye so that the laser probe can get inside the eye. And we have to manually do few parts of the surgery such as capsulotomy and nucleotomy or breaking of the cataract. But with the, advent, with the advent of robotic cataract surgery at our place, all this is bypassed. And the machine itself, the laser machine itself does the incisions. It does the capsulotomy which is, which is very, very precise, very, very accurate and very well centered. And it also does the nucleotomy. By nucleotomy what I mean is it breaks the cataract into multiple pieces and hence I don't have to do anything manually. I just have to remove these uh, already cut pieces through phacoemulsification and implant the lens. So, by robotic cataract surgery, what has, what, what has happened is the surgery has become more precise, more safe and more predictable for the patient and the patient can actually get back to their routine faster because the healing is also faster compared to a manual cataract surgery or a laser cataract surgery. So, that is the advantage of a robotic surgery. And uh, I would recommend that all, all the patients should get robotic cataract surgery done so that they get a much more safer, precise uh, surgery and at the same time they can get back to their routine work faster. Thank you.